So, Friday's Daily Mail, and they've got the uh, Mr. Men and Little Miss turned into the Mix People. MX, yeah? Mix People, yeah. Trans Charity Mermaids have used these, they call it in the... This is from the Daily Mail. Let's remember there'll be that um, particular filter through all of this. But uh, the British Mr. Men characters have been used to promote gender ideology to young children. We have examples here. Little Miss Tiny has been changed to Little Mix Trans Women Belong in Sport. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Perfect... <laughs> Mr. Perfect belong, is now Little uh, Mr. Protects Trans Youth. And Mr. It's... Tickle is Mr. No Tackle. I mean, they're not... <laughs> Might have made that last one up. <laughs> you made that one up. OK. <laughs> I mean, they're not catchy. We, we can see their little mix trans women belonging to it. It's not catchy. It's a little mix of band, anyway. <laughs> and they'll sue because they're... Well, look, I mean, this, these are effectively just memes. I don't yeah. think they're bringing out the full book. But if, if you're going to be in an interview saying, like, look, we, we are simply... We've got a, a case to argue, but don't do something that very much looks like it's targeting a yeah. group that you shouldn't be in a discussion with. So yeah. the problem here now... So, obviously, Stonewall has had a, a pretty bad time of it uh, lately because and the Tavistock Centre closing. I think people are becoming quite alert to the dangers of teaching very young children about gender identity ideology mm. and particularly the dangers to gay kids and, you know, what mm. that can do to them. Uh, and straight it, kids. And straight kids. But isn't, <laughs> isn't mermaids on the same path as the Tavistock, really? Shouldn't someone be doing a bit of an audit of them? Well, they do say uh, that we believe that young children should be able to play, explore and learn about who they are and the world around them without having adults' ideas imposed upon them. Are they kidding? Just like, what do you think you're doing? Are they you're, kidding? You're just jamming it down their throat. I mean, toddlers must just want to go... To, just, I just want to go to primary school and not have this LGBTQIA++++ stuff just jammed down my throat. It's, it's, you know what I mean? no self-awareness at all. But also, you know, there was a leaked um, uh, mermaid training session where they were saying uh, about uh, how you can tell if someone's male or female according to gender identity and the male side of their spectrum which they illustrated was G.I. Joe and the female side was Barbie <laughs> that's their view of whether you're male or female is yeah. to, to what type of dolls you like to play with why yeah. not just leave kids alone if a yeah. boy wants to play with dolls just let him get on with it, it doesn't yeah. mean he's a girl yeah, it I mean, seems you know, rigidly old fashioned. It's that, really so. old fashioned, really conservative. And we're both uh, bringing up kids, not together. I mean, that feels weird, <laughs> but we're both going to have to make these these uh, discussions uh, with our children about you know. And I I would rather my child grows up to just be himself and not listen to what society says. Don't let other people come up with the rule of whether you are a GI Joe or a Barbie. Yeah, live your own life and don't have to. Don't worry about conforming. Exactly. You know. Anyway.